Oh, he just got bit in half. Bro. Oh. Oh! No, no, why not again? Oh! That's a stud manger of snapper. Holy sh! Oh! Oh! Sh oh, he's getting chased. He's getting chased. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Florida Keys. Last night, I went out and I set out some pinfish traps. So hopefully we have some nice live baits that we're gonna take out to the patch reefs and catch some big old fish. But as always in the January months of the year, it is quite windy down here in the Keys and sunny, but also windy. So we might get rocked a little bit out there. And today is a very special day. Hey, Elliot. Hey buddy, you wanna tell everyone why it's such a special day? We are taking a South Florida Fishing Club winner fishing on the boat with us today. If you guys are not up to date, we have the South Florida Fishing Club where every Wednesday I give out fishing prizes and the first of every month we give out three big prizes and the first place prize last month was a bass fishing trip with me. And we were gonna go bass fishing today, but I hit up Daniel and I said, would you rather go on the boat instead of bass fishing? We can go bass fishing if you want, but we can also go head out to the patch reefs. And he said, let's go on the boat. So a slight upgrade of the prize. And now I'm gonna fuel up the boat, get a sandwich. We'll get some bait and ice. My buddy Jordan will also be joining us and it's time to head out. Hey Elliot, why you look so suspicious, buddy? What's going on, bud? That's a beach kitty right there. I put it in this little beach. I had a truck come and dump a bunch of sand because normally it's this like very sharp, uncomfortable coral rock. Coral rock is rough to walk on. I've been walking on it for three years now. <laughs> you do not get used to it. It's sharp. Look how happy Elliot is with the sand. He absolutely loves the soft sand and I do too. I can actually go barefoot on it, enjoy it a bit. But if you are interested in joining the South Florida Fishing Club, check out the link in the description below. You'll go to the webpage and you can read a little more about it and what it's all about. All right, we got the boat loaded down, lots of rods, got some shrimp. We got Daniel on the boat. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited and I can't wait to go fishing. This is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too wavy. We got Jordan up on the bow and time to untie, get some bait and head to the patch reefs. The police out today, boys. <laughs> she can pull me over though. I'd be okay with that. We're heading out right now. Yeah, we're going out now. <laughs> Everybody's out today. Yeah. Today's the day. All right, I'll text you. I might be coming up a little hot. Right. We're crabbers. We're crabbers. <laughs> you want the gaff? I can grab it. All right, here we go. Oh, you don't need the gaff. Look at you go. What we got? And oh, I see some pinfish in there. What is all that shit in there? Oh, that's chum. Damn. Okay, there's not that many, but <laughs> there's more. Hey, there's a little blue claw in there. Some little pinfishies in there hopping around. So your trap, man, you you got the good trap. Jordan's trap has like the special touch to it that just catches all the fish. I painted it. In, uh... All right, are we leaving until we come back? Yeah. Yeah, let's ch chuck them back out. Good thing we have two traps to check. Yeah, I know. The wind's gonna push us right over it. Oh, yeah. That's a fat trap. Yeah, that looks like a, a healthy dozen in there. I'm all them happy little pinfish. <laughs> They're like, this is like a production line going into the slaughterhouse. Nice, and there's even chum for a few more. Oh, and a nice chunk of chum on your shoes and all over the boat. Very nice, very nice. Look at that. Yeah, dude, we're set. Look at all them pinfish. They better be riding home to mother because they ain't got much time left. <laughs> nice. We ran over our own trap. <laughs> Professionals. We 
made it out to the patch reefs. We are in about 35, 40 feet of water, anchored up. Pretty rough out today. I got soaked on the way out, classic. And it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's pretty rough. Oh, we already got yellowtail behind the boat. What'd you catch them on? Uh, shrimp, wild hook. All right, shrimp, perfect. And Jordan just sent down a live pinfish. I got a good feeling about this today. We got a chum bag out and fish are starting to stack up. Another yellowtail. The yellowtail are biting, that's good. Jordan's got another, oh, that was kind of a nice one. That was a decent yellowtail. <laughs> oh, damn. Right at the boat. Oh, another hookup. Let's see what Daniel's gonna bring up here. It looks, it looks like a yellowtail. One of the prettiest fish in the ocean. I always ask people, do you know why it's called a yellowtail? Why's that? Because it's got a yellow tail. <laughs> Damn, I need to think of a better better joke for that. Okay, everyone's like expecting something really funny and then it's not funny at all. Okay. Uh, There's a Nah, we'll let him go. We'll, we'll keep the real fat ones. Jordan might be bringing a keeper on board here. Oh, yeah, nice yellow tail right there. I'm rigging up my rod. I'm gonna put the weighted yellowtail hooks. There's a measuring on the uh, cutting board or on the cooler. How big is he? 11. 11, oh, okay. 11, yeah. yeah. Oh, another yellowtail. They be coming on board like rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> All right, I got my hook finally hooked up. What you got there? Mangrove snapper. All right. Mangroves, yellowtails, lots of Bermuda chubs. Ballyhoo behind the boat. The yellowtail are like way back there. The patch reefs are on fire. Now we just need a big mutton. Oh, what you catch? Oh, okay, that, that, might, be the, that might be a keeper mangrove snapper. Oh, they're getting bigger. I'm going super light action now. I got a piece of squid on my little jig here. Eight pound braid. I might regret this if something big bites, but here we go. I'm just gonna chuck it way out there. I'm chucking it real far back. That's where the yellowtail are. Did yours even make it to the bottom? Oh, already on. I, I was, but I got my rod stuck in the stupid net up there. Oh, I'm on, but it's a, I'm on, but he's a small one. Dude, the second it touches the water. This squid's great, it stays on the hook. Mangrove snapper. Oh, bandit. Mmm. I love the, the patch reef mangroves because they look so clean and like healthy. <laughs> That's a keeper? That's good when you know right away it's a keeper nut. Woo, look at that fat boy. Oh, get him in. Oh, whoa, yeah. Damn, that's a stud. That's a nice one. All right, that's a keeper for sure. Woo, look how big his head starts to get. Damn, yeah, nice, good work. Whew. Another piece of squid going out. I feel like the further back, the bigger the, the bigger the uh, yeah. yellowtail. Whenever I go spear fishing, the yell the small yellowtails are like close to the chum, and then the big boys like are like off in the distance in the back. I kind of just let my bait sink until they grab it. Nice fish on, fish on. I want one taking drag. I want to hear some drag. Oh, that's a that's a decent yellowtail. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Fat boy. Oh, Andy's a D hooker. That's a good one. He's trained well. Where's the pigs at? I think I got my bait rod. Oh, I'm just flicking my jig right now and they're attacking it. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Wait, he came off. No, he's on. He's on. He hit the jig with no bait on it. He feels very small, but yeah, a little young. There we go. Little yellow too. All right, I'm 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 gonna check out just the jig. Just the jig. Let's see if they eat that. Nice. Sometimes they get bigger, sometimes they get smaller. Oh, is that drag? Oh, this one grabbed some drag. All right. All right, watch this. Baitless jig. I'm just gonna start flicking it. Woo, that was a big wave. Damn, all right. I don't know why I'm messing around with this right now. Maybe I'll snag a ballyhoo. Oh, the ballyhoo are getting close. They might be a uh, nettable soon here. Ooh, I got a little fish on. 
I can't tell if he's big or not, so he's probably not big, but he's naughty. Where is he at? I got, <laughs> I got a grunt. That's the first grunt on the boat. If he was a big grunt, I'd keep him, but be free, grunt. All right, the bally hoop net is ready to ready to deploy. Oh, what you got there? Oh, mangrove. Oh, fat one, stud. That's definitely the biggest one yet. Yeah, I threw a bigger piece of bait. There. Ooh, bigger bait, bigger fish. I like it. Oh, we got another hookup over here. Oh, yeah. Oops. That's a nice yellow tail. That's a keeper for sure. Damn, that mangrove is. He feels fat. Yeah, he's a pig. Classic classic fish always pooping all right we have the belly hoop net going back hopefully we don't get tangled in it this time i have a whole squid on my hook bigger bait bigger fish as they say let's see if that's true fly free oh no the bird's gonna get it these bally who are smart they're staying right behind the net oh something's already nibbling my squid Yes, I, I got a fish on. He doesn't feel that big though. Oh. <laughs> I don't, oh man, I must, the, the grunts are attracted to me today. They got them big mouths so they can eat that whole squid. Damn, look at that wave right there. Whew. Better not to look. Later player. Oh, I've been robbed. Ooh. Almost took one over the bow there. Yeah, one ballyhoo? Okay, it's a start. Almost, almost a nice fish. I feel something. I think I'm gonna slice and dice these ballyhoo up. All right, ballyhoo, time to meet your maker. I just need that crowd to come a little to the left here and I'll get all of them. Oh, you guys got a double hookup going on over here? Woo, yellow tail, oh, that's a nice, yeah, that, Okay, all right, all right. Damn, these valley who are the wrong way. I'm gonna stand over here for just a second. I wanna get a nice big funnel of them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, they were sneaky, they were sneaky. But we got some valley who. Might be time to send one down, send a whole one. Yeah. Using a valley who tail, Looks a little amateur sometimes, but big yellowtail is gonna eat it. I got something. Wait, is that a fish? Yep. Come on. Oh, no way. it feels kind of good. Let's see. I am on light tackle though, so you know it kind of a. Uh, you never know. No, he got himself rocked up. No way. He's still on. Yeah. All right. I'm giving him some slack. Get out of that rock. Swim the other way. I'm gonna give him some more slack. Oh, he's pulling hard. Maybe he'll pull himself right off of it. I can't really horse him with this super light tackle. Hmm. Oh, I broke off. Oh, the pain is so much. We got ourselves a trigger fish, new species. Decent sized one too. Those are good fighters. He does not want to come up. Oh, he's decent. There is another one behind him. Woo! He's a stud muffin. You want a pair of pliers? Yeah. I don't trust the mouths on those things. Yeah, they got a crazy mouth. Beauty. <laughs> Did he bend the hook? Chomp, chomp. The big boys are chilling back there. Hopefully they come up and eat that ballyhoo. Oh yeah. Solid fish right there. Woohoo! Good work. All right, I think I'm gonna do a belly hoop scoop and then we'll take the net out of the water after this. We'll see how many I get, but they're on to me. Come on, belly hoop. Come on. There's already like two, I think, stuck in the back of the net. Oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, the they're tough. Yeah, I still got like five of them. Oh, the live well is full full. I wonder if it's clogged. Or it's just filling up faster than it can drain. That's the biggest fish so far, I think. We just had some drags screaming. 
camera missed that, but it's all good. Oh, this is, oh, we got a fish coming. Woo! We might need the uh, net for this because I got real light leader on here. He's coming. He ran, he ran like a mutton. Oh, I can barely stop him. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that a kingfish? Oh! No, he just got bit in half. Bro, look at the size of that cougar. Oh, no. One bite, dude. No. Right bite. at the boat. There goes sashimi. Oh, that was a oh, nice one, too. Zero. Holy sh... Oh, he got... I got my arm down. Yeah. Damn. Right at the boat. <laughs> dude, he ate the uh, ballyhoo tail. Look how perfectly he got hooked in the mouth. Damn, this, he, he would have been the perfect sashimi size. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't bite me. Don't bite me. That was insane. <laughs> oh. He would eat this in a second if you dropped it down. Excellent. Well, I guess I'll put him in the cooler. That's like, you could make a sushi roll or two out of him. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a big yellowtail or... A mutton or something. That's always exciting to see though. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh bro. Fun. You just got the mother load of ballyhoo in that net. Good work. This it feels like a good one. I mean this one actually feels really good. Might need that net, I don't know. He yeah. He's probably he probably just feels like a big fish. Oh. Oh! No, no, why not again? Give me my snapper back. Oh, no, 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 I want my snapper back. The... Shoot him! Oh! Hey, hold him there, hold him in the water, hold him in the water. Oh, but now his dirty teeth got up all up in the fillets. Oh man, he got shredded. The barracudas are going hard today. Hey, but hey, what, what is bad as it could have been? That's true. I thought he was going to lose the whole tail. Look at that damage he took. He's a keeper too. He was probably like, do I want to go with the barracuda or go on the boat? What, what do they call that? A uh, dead man walking. All right. Sending down a live shrimp. Let's see what, what that brings up. 18 inch yellow tail. That's what I'm putting in my order in for. Nice little yellow tail. Welcome aboard, yellow tail. Another cast net full of ballyhoo. That looks like a good fish. Oh, <laughs> he's ripping drag. We might need a, might need to get the, it might be a netter. Oh, sh all right, you got the net. <laughs> Damn, he might, that might be a big mutton. If he's taking drag like that, I don't even think you're gaining on him. Damn, that's on a shrimp, nice. I see him, that's a mutton, no it's way. a mutton, it's a mutton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure either that or a massive mangrove. Wait, no. Trigger. Oh, it's a, damn it. <laughs> I, that's a big trigger, wow. He's still a netter. Another, that's a big, Sugar fit, damn! Woo! Got him. The big boy. That's two big triggers. You know, I haven't put a trigger on the boat in a while. It's good to see him again, back in action. Yeah, he's good. Look at these waves. I swear, on camera it looks flat out here. Oh, nice. He's got a big long tail. He's got them legs. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh boy. Kind of looks yellow tail is she? Like a nice yellow tail. <laughs> yeah. A muttony kind of yellow tail perhaps. Just might have to net him, you know, if he, if he's a 12 pounder. <laughs> oh, here he comes. This is where the barracuda is probably going to come. Is that a mutton? Oh my god, it is. The wait. Oh, it's a big old mangrove. Oh! That's a stud mangrove snapper. Holy shit. Oh, oh, baby. Dude, that thing's good. Yeah, now, yeah. now that's a snapper. Yeah. 
Holy smokes. Holy stud. That hook is deep in his throat. He swallowed the yellowtail hook. He's a little over 17 inches. Damn. He looks bigger than that. I caught him on a ballyhoo tail on the on a little weighted yellowtail hook. Dude, if there's one of these, there's probably dozens of them down there. <sighs> yeah! Once you catch a pig like that, <laughs> you don't even want to like keep the 12 inches anywhere. It's like, huh. I ran out of the white weighted hooks, but I got the chartreuse ones. Hooking up left and right, doesn't stop. Oh, little yellowtail. A yapping yal yellowtail. Yeah, he's a fatty one. He's fat. His tail's not as long though. Eh, it's all right. New GoPro battery has been inserted. Ready for action. You caught a nice little mangrove snapper back here. That's a nice fat one on the deck. Oh, oh. Just some baby fish swimming on the side of the boat. Dude, it's like a offshore bait ball out here. No, oh, he's on. He's on. Nice. Is it a netter? Oh, it's a mutton! Dude, the first mu- Oh, never mind. These mangroves are so big, you think they're muttons. Oh, stud! Stud mangrove! Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. They're getting bigger. The wave's getting bigger, the wind's getting stronger, the fish are getting bigger. Come on. We've been waiting all day. This is the one. Don't scare me like that. It looks a little orange. Oh, it's a grouper. It's, that is a grouper, yeah. Oh, it's, is that a Nassau grouper? Wait, what? Or a red, big red. Holy smokes. Dude, we can at least, can we get a picture of him? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Holy. Oh, he's grunting. That's a beauty. That's a thick boy. Yeah, right, he would have been the perfect one. You want a picture with your phone? Oh, I mean, he's he's ripping. He's something. Oh! Oh! Sh oh, he's getting chased. He's getting chased. Go! Oh. Go! Oh, no! 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 Why won't he go in the? Oh! 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 Oh my God! I almost pulled a. Uh... We well, got a reclaim from earlier. Oh yeah, there. That that's him right there. Sushi. Yeah. He was getting chased by the barracuda. Oh. Oh, beautiful zero mackerel. I mean, that is a stud. Yeah. Nice. Good work. On the live ballyhoo. On the stinger tip. That's it right there. Stinger tip. Never fails. Woo. A rock. I mean, bring the rock up. Oh, it is a rock. A rock hind. <laughs> Those are pretty fish, though. That's a pretty boy. What do you eat? A piece of ballyhoo? <laughs> That's a funny looking fish. All right. I think our day of fishing has come to an end. We've been thrown around like rag dolls for the past few hours, but the bite never stopped. It was great. We got a cooler full of fish. Now we're gonna head back home. We had a lot of treacherous things happen today. That, that. There's the stud muffin of the day. <laughs> I guess we will go on and fillet him. got ourselves a nice chunk of meat. There we go. What's your favorite way to eat mangrove snapper? Hey buddy, got something for you. Fresh zero mackerel. Come here.
All right, we're cleaning all the fish right now. Even Elliot's getting a piece. We're gonna bag them up, then we're gonna do some cooking. Today in the kitchen, we're gonna do something I haven't done before. I have mangrove snapper and zero mackerel in this bag, and we're gonna make fish cake. Yeah, yes, fish cakes. And this is how it works. We have some potatoes that I'm gonna dice up and I'm gonna put in the boiling water and we'll turn, we'll soften up the potatoes. Can you guys hear that? There's like raccoons fighting outside my house and it sounds terrible. Ellie, what is that? What's going on out there? Let's check it out. Well, I didn't see the culprits, but there's definitely a, a bushel of raccoons making a ruckus and then Elliot ran down to intercept them. <sighs> he thinks he's part raccoon. I've seen him playing out there with the raccoons before. He thinks he's a raccoon, it's not good. Anyways, now normally I would skin the potatoes, but I was looking for my potato peeler and it turns out it's missing. I have my theories on what happened to it, and I think I just need to order a new one. It's been a long time since I've peeled potatoes, clearly, but I need a potato peeler. Two peeled potatoes. Is that gonna be enough? I don't know. And I hope this recipe is still gonna be good with the skin on the potatoes. I don't see why not, but uh, I think ideally you don't want skin on your potatoes. While that boils, I'm gonna chop up this onion and then we'll take it to the next step. It takes a while for potatoes to boil. So I thought, why don't I bring you in close to the action? Let's have an appetizer. I already have my onions diced up, but let's take out a piece of zero mackerel, probably one of the most delicious pieces of sashimi that you can get. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna eat this right now. Take a paper towel, we're gonna pat it dry. I'm just gonna eat a little piece of it. Wow, yeah, we just cut it right off of the skin here. Again, pat it completely dry. Woo-wee! We will remove this little bit of bloodline. With sashimi, I highly suggest you do whatever you can to make sure there is absolutely no bloodline on there. But Elliot will greatly appreciate that. And what we have here is a treat. We'll just cut it into very manageable little bite-sized pieces of goodness. This knife could be a little sharper, but it'll get the job done. Pour ourselves a little bit of soy sauce. Mmm. And then I like to add some roasted sesame seeds, just a drizzle to give a little bit of crunchy crunch. Mmm, perfect. And now wasabi. I'll just give a little squirt on the table. And then the way I like to do it is grab your piece of sushi or sashimi, I mean. Zero mackerel sashimi. Just give it a dab in the in the wasabi. You know, just get a little on there, a little dabble. And then we're gonna dab it into the soy sauce. There we go. Little appetizer while we wait for our potatoes to boil. Oh, oh, mm. Melts in your mouth. It is so soft. That is restaurant grade, five star, the best of the best. If I was served that at a restaurant, I would freak out. And I'd be like, what was that? Where in the world did that come from? That is zero mackerel. And the big key to some really good zero mackerel is no bloodlines and you wanna let it sit in your fridge for at least, I would say like 24 hours. And it just becomes so soft and so melt in your mouth. If you try to eat it the same day that you caught it, there's a good chance it might be a little chewy. Mm. Mmm, mmm, woo, damn. Okay, I need to calm down. This, this is on a different level. Okay, <laughs> ignore me at this point. I, I'm also starving, so if these potatoes aren't gonna be done anytime soon, I might end up eating all this cereal mackerel. 
Mm. All right, how are the potatoes? All right, these potatoes are actually almost done. Perfect, perfect. This is where things get exciting. The potatoes are done. We'll pour them in our bowl. And I think that I have way more fish in proportion to potatoes. I probably need twice as many potatoes, but I have a lot of fish. This right here is the cereal mackerel. This right here is the mangrove snapper. And I'm just going to kind of dice it up a bit, cut them into manageable pieces, and then we're gonna mash everything together. Throw all that in there. And then we'll take a nice handful of onions, throw that in there. Let's add some seasonings. We have the South Florida Fishing Channel Fishing Game garlic and onion. Just give a nice, a nice little healthy dose. And then I'll also give a little tumble of salt. All right. And then very last but not least, the egg. Plop. Perfect. And now as they say, it's time to mash. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot harder than expected. Actually, no, it's, it's going fine. I, I think the mashed potato masher is not the right tool for this because the fish isn't getting mashed. I probably should have cut the fish up a little bit more. I might be better off just using a wooden spoon and some brute force. Okay, a uh, pro tip, chop up your fish, like slice and dice your fish before doing this because those big chunks, I'm like, I'm getting carpal tunnel, smashing the freaking mashed potatoes to break that fish up. It's pretty hard. I've been at this now for a while. And I think I'm just gonna call it for what it is. It's pretty good, all right? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this mixture, this mash, and we're gonna form hamburger sized patties. Pull your sleeves back, and I think that oil looks pretty nice and hot. That right there. And we will, oh, this feels funny. Mm. What do y'all think? Does that look good? That looks like a hamburger sized patty. Let's see what happens when we drop it in. Maybe it's not hot enough. Okay, it's bubbling a little bit. Not sure how I'm gonna flip these. This could turn tragic, but I'm gonna try to flip this guy. I think that worked, but a lot of uh, a lot of grease just went all over my countertop there. Our fish cakes have been frying for 12 minutes now. No idea if they're done or not, but let's take them out and then we will. Check them. Woo, they look perfect. Wow. That fish cake. I'm excited to take a bite out of that. <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool down though. I put the rest of the uh, stuff in here. We got four more patties in the deep fryer. And then we of course have this guy, which we're gonna cut open right now. Let's see how it looks. Moment of truth. Trying new foods gets me mega excited. I can't tell if it's cooked all the way through. It looks like the fish is, everything is cooked all the way through. Let's just take it. Oops. I always spill stuff on my kitchen floor. It's like, anyways, let's give it a bite. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. Crunchy little onions in there, love it. Very soft. It's very soft because of the mashed potatoes, so the onions give it a nice crunch, and so does the fried outside. Ooh, the fish is definitely cooked, and it, it all blends in so nice and fluffy and creamy and soft, like kind of like a cake. 
Mmm. Wow. I'm trying to think what this would be good with. Like, what would you serve this with? Mmm. I'm so happy I have another four in the making. I have, I'm gonna be eating these all night long. Mmm. Oh. Ooh, hot. In terms of flavor with the fish, I would say you could probably use any fish in this recipe because it's fried. I wouldn't be able to tell you that this was snapper or mackerel. I would just think it was fish. Um, you know, when you fry something, it kind of just makes it taste deliciously fried. Mm. So I probably wouldn't use this recipe with your favorite fish, some super fresh, best of the best fish, but um, maybe, maybe you should, I don't know. Definitely a banger, definitely a winner. I will 100% make this again. I'm trying to think of a good sauce to make with it, but can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm starving. I'm gonna eat all of these just the way they are. I'm not gonna put any sauces on them or anything. I deep fried these for about, it was about 12 minutes, six minutes on each side and they came out pretty perfect. I guess it depends how thick they are. But that was it. Fish cakes, catch and cook. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please hit that like button and leave a comment. It helps my channel so much. And of course, as always, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Go get yourself something if you want to support the channel so I can keep making videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.